I swear, the 1830s, Betty, are the strangest time in American history. Welcome to 7th and 8th grade <laughs> social studies homework. We're talking about the Lone Star State people. Guess what? Texas. We're going, we're going out west this week, okay? Check this out. A bunch of crazy stuff has been happening in the 1830s, man. Your boy, your boy Andrew Jackson, he signs a piece of... A piece of legislature that gets rid of all the Indians. He's ripping out the Seminoles from Florida. He's like, get over into the West. We don't want you here. He's getting the poor Cherokees. I'm not making light of this. It's actually really terrifying. The Indian Removal Act is awful. We talked about this. I mean, it's part of our history, but man, geez, you know, kind of a dark time. <laughs> jeez. So, yeah, 1830, that's going on. And then in the video we watched a couple days ago, we're talking about this guy, Nat Turner. Slavery's on the rise. People are getting ticked. They're getting peeved. There's a war about to start, the Civil War. But before we get to that, we got to talk about a war that's happening around the same time, okay? And, or a little bit before, rather. This is 1835. This is five years after. I swear, this is the most turbulent time, the weirdest time in history, okay? Okay, so, 1824. There's a businessman, Stephen F. Austin. He made a contract with the Mexican government to give land grants to about 300 families, okay? They settled along the Brazos River, which is the first major colony of English-speaking people in Mexican Texas, all right? So, the Mexicans don't like this. The Mexican government doesn't like this. They don't want so many Americans coming to Texas, okay? And there's a guy, his name is Lopez de Santa Ana. Don't remember that because you probably can't. You're in 7th and 8th grade. You're not going to remember that. I'm probably not going to remember that name. <laughs> he passed laws to make Texans pay more taxes, okay? These laws made the... People get ticked with taxes, man. But in 1835, it kind of starts to boil over and fighting, fighting between Mexican troops and settlers, these American settlers, breaks out, okay? Now, in 1836, Texas declares its independence from Mexico, Okay? A guy named Sam Houston is named the commander of the New Nation's Army. Recap it. We got people coming to Texas, right? We got people coming to Texas, settling Americans, right? Because of this guy, Stephen at Austin, who makes a contract with the Mexican government. At this point, Texas is kind of jumbled in with Mexico, all right? The Mexican government doesn't like so many Americans coming in. They start upping the taxes in 1835. Settlers get ticked. They start fighting. The fight gets bad in 1836, and Texas declares its independence from Mexico. And a guy, Sam Houston, is named commander of the army. Okay, so are we all are we all on the same page here? We got it? Okay, now check this out. This guy, Santa Ana, remember we talked about this? The, 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 you know, dude, he's not just going to let Texans go, okay? His troops surrounded San Antonio de Valero Mission, also known as a place you might have heard of called the Alamo. Let's simplify that. The Mexican government's not just going to let them say, we're independent from you, and let a bunch of Americans be chilling out and, you know, making their own, you know, army, etc. So he's like, no. He surrounds them in a place which we know now as the Alamo. This is a big deal if you guys have seen those old, like, 1950s movies, the Daniel Boone and stuff. I'm not sure what they're called. I think it was Disney maybe. Good stuff. Okay? There's about 200 defenders there at the Alamo, okay? There's a couple famous pioneers. Your boy, James Bowie, and your boy, Davy Crockett. All right? So that's not a bad... That's kind of like A-Team. I mean, this is like... The Alamo is, like, essentially... The Alamo is basically like, um, it's it's like what's that film called, um, with all those you know rock star you know action heroes. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like that. You got James Bowie and Davy Crockett there, man. Davy Crockett's King of the Wild Frontier. After there's a third dude. After 13 days, they lead one last attack on the Alamos, and the defenders lost. Okay? Only a few women and children and enslaved people survive. This is a bloody battle. Okay? This is a problem. You know, remember there's a slogan you're going to start hearing right after this. Remember, this is an issue. And you're going to start, people are going to start saying, remember the Alamo. So why or why do you want to remember the Alamo? Well, because they lost. We kind of look back on history and you, you know, thinking about when you hear the Alamo, I mean, that must have been a really 
kick butt battle. But they lost. It was terrible. It was a defeat. And so remembering that is kind of like, you know, you know, if you get defeated, like, you know, if you're playing football or basketball and you lose to a team, well, remember we lost to them. We're gonna do it better next time, okay? But this loss only makes the Texans more determined to win their freedom. And they're going to. April 21st, 1836, Texas forces took on the larger Mexican group by surprise and defeated it. Houston and his men ran into battle, yelling, remember the Alamo. During the fighting, Houston's men captured Santa Ana, who later agreed to retreat. At last, Texas was free. Now, this is weird, though, okay? Because remember, this is being settled by, you know, American people. But guess what? This is an independent nation. This is weird as heck. It's called the Republic of Texas. The Lone Star State. It's like, you know, when you think of a lone wolf or a lone star, it's by itself. It's kind of, it's, um, it's, it's I was going to say it's the emo state. It's not the emo state. But it's, it's not part of the United States at this point. And this happens in 1836. They finally get their independence from Mexico. And it's an independent nation for 10 years, okay? And then they vote to join the United States. Fact check it, sorry. They're an independent nation and they joined the United States in 1836, okay? Got it. In the 1840s, the U.S. had slaves, which allowed slavery, slave states, which allowed slavery. Texas was not a slave state and people who opposed slavery didn't want it in the United States because it would throw off the balance, okay? So again, this is a turbulent time, and this, this ties in with the whole slavery thing we were talking about with Nat Turner because once the Republic of Texas is let into the Union, the you know, let, let into our government after it's done being a republic by itself, um, they're like, Texas isn't a slave state, and you know, Southerners are kind of like, mm, I don't want to do that because it'll throw off the balance, okay? Are we, are we, on the, are we, are we vibing? Are we vibing here? Let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. We're going to talk about this tomorrow. So, first of all, whew, too much coffee. First of all, first, first of all, we got the Mexican government, right? They own this territory like Texas, right? It's part of the Mexican government. In 1824, we get some um, contracts to have... Um, Families move to Mex to, um, to Texas, right? The Mexican government doesn't like this. They up taxes and they start fighting. Okay, the Alamo, um, your boy, um, your boy uh, Bowie and Crockett are there. They lose, but it fires up these Mexic these um, Texans. They're like, we're gonna go get them, and they go and defeat them. And then you know, um, Texas is a little is a little independent. Um, Republic for 10 years, and they join the U.S. in 1836, and this ties into slavery because it's throwing off the balance of slave states and free states. Like we talked about in the Nat Turner video, those we could also think about in terms of like pro-slavery people, and these people are calling free soilers, okay? So remember it. 1836, Texans vote to join the United States. Also, they were a republic. That's pretty weird. They were like a little, they're just flying solo out there. Crazy, huh? History. What a day. See you guys in class.